in today's video we are gonna learn how you can create this exact cutscene in unity hey guys it's me apurva welcome back to my channel in this video we are gonna learn how we can use the timeline feature in unity to create cutscenes for our game Timeline in Unity is a very powerful tool that you can use to create any sort of cutscene that you want to create. So without any further ado, let's dive in. As you can see, I have an empty scene open in Unity and I'm using the URP template. I have two things imported in my project. First is the audios folder and under that as you can see I have two sound effects one is for the argument and one for the high sound that you saw at the beginning of the video and the second thing I have is the basic motion spec by Kevin it's a pretty great asset for animation so I'm gonna use animations from this pack first thing first let's create a plane so that our characters can stand on something and I'm just going to reset the transform then you need to open the timeline window so go under window sequencing timeline I'm just going to dock it down here as you can see it's saying to start creating a timeline select a game object so what I'm going to do is create a empty game object and call it timeline and I'm going to reset its transform and I'm going to create my timeline in that I'm just going to quickly make a folder for my timeline because I like to stay organized and I'm going to create my timeline there I'm just going to switch my timeline from frames to seconds so that I can visually see how many seconds my cutscene is going to be so now we need characters for our cutscene so I'm just going to open the prefabs folder and get the basic motion dummy make sure you select the timeline object and then on the left side I'm going to right click and select animation track because I want to have animations in my cutscene then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my basic motions dummy and drag and drop it in the animation track now you can you can animate your game object right from the timeline but I already have animations made for my game objects so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to use that animations but if you want you can create your animations right from the timeline so on the right side of the timeline what I'm going to do is right click and and select add from animation clip I'm going to use this animation as you can see I can preview it make sure when you are using a already animated object the object that you are using has an animator component and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon and place my object in the scene wherever I want now why I am doing this in this way I can just edit the object in the scene view but for some reason when I try to do that when I select the timeline it goes back to 000 or in the timelines position I don't know why this is happening but I just found a quick workaround there so make sure your object is at 000 and then after when you add the animation you move the object through that I'm also going to create another animation track and I'm going to duplicate my motions dummy and drag and drop it in here and I'm going to add another animation from animation clips and it's going to be this animation and then I'm going to do the same thing and position it in my scene wherever I like it now as you can see both of the animations are playing I'm just going to duplicate my basic dummies again and I'm going to create another animation track and select my third object and I'm going to add another animation clip and this time it's going to be the high animation or wave animation now I have everything that I need in my timeline so if you saw the cutscene before the first cutscene is going to be start these two characters argue and then when the third character says hi the camera cuts to that object and then it moves back here what I'm going to do is place my scene where I want my camera to be and then I'm going to select my main camera and press ctrl shift f to align my camera with the view 
and for that waving part i'm going to create another camera so right click on the hierarchy and create another camera i'm just going to find a good angle on this character and then i'm going to do the same i'm going to select the camera and press ctrl shift f to align the camera with the with my view and as you can see it plays correctly so now what i'm going to do is make sure that your second camera is disabled because we don't want that camera when we start and on the timeline i'm going to create an activation track so activation track is basically what it says it activates objects whenever you need them so i'm going to select my main camera and drag and drop that in here i'm going to create another activation track and select my second camera and just to show you how this works as you can see my second camera is disabled at the start but when the game runs and as you can see i can just adjust the position or timing in my timeline and it's it automatically activates the second camera when i need it so now it's a matter of organizing the clips however you like them another thing that you can do in timeline is group things together so what do i mean by that i can just right click and create a track group and I'm i can just call it animations and select all of my animations and move that in that group so that the hierarchy doesn't get crowded and i'm going to create another track group called activation and select both of my cameras and move them in that group now we have the basic knowledge on how you can use the timeline so i'm just going to quickly set up my timeline for that cutscene you can arrange your timeline however you want your cutscene to be and if i play the cutscene as you can see it already works but it missing something yes you guessed it right it's missing sound and at the beginning of the video i told you timeline is a very powerful tool and you can also add sounds in timeline so i'm just going to select my argument sound and drag and drop it in my timeline it will automatically create an audio source i don't need that much i'm just going to cut the audio to 10 seconds and as you can see the audio is correctly added i'm just going to drag and drop the high sound effect in that and it's also going to create an another audio source now i need to place the audio when my character is waving so i'm just going to open my animations group and see where my waving animation is and i'm going to place my high sound there so right about here seems fine to me now if we play as you can see it's a little bit difficult to hear the high sound because in the background the, the arguing is continuing and when the player is saying hi it's a little bit difficult to hear so what happens in real life when you switch from a camera to like this the arguing sound will get lower and we can hear the high sound or, or the character saying hi perfectly so we can even do that in timeline so what i'm going to do is just click on this curves icon and i'm just going to get a more get a little bit space in my timeline and as you can see on the left side the pink line is for the volume and it's this line so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to double click on that line so that it creates a point and i'm going to double click again so it creates another point and i'm going to also create two points on this side now i can just select both of the points and drag and drop them like this so that it gets lower when the camera switches and as you can see the sound gets lower but i think it's a little bit early so i'm just going to adjust it now if you see this it works perfectly so it's a matter of time and how much you want to fine tune your cutscene as you can see you already have the cutscene that i showed you at the beginning so the last thing that i'm going to do is create another track group and call it audios 
and move all of my audios in that group and as you can see the cutscene is ready there you go guys now you have a basic understanding of how the timeline works and how you can use the timeline to create cutscenes for your own game that's it for this video guys until then take care goodbye